Hello, learner. So we'll go through our first storyline, Forces and Motion, in our experience physics book. Forces and Motion has several topics to discuss. We have investigated investigation one and investigation two. For investigation one, we have three experiences, placement and velocity, acceleration, circular and projectile motion. We have for the displacement, what does it mean? The definition of it and the formula used to represent it and how is it represented? And using mathematics, applying the rule. Now, next we have modeling motion. How do I model motion? Then I have acceleration. What is meant by acceleration? What's the difference between instantaneous velocity and average velocity? What is the odometer and how is it is read? We have instantaneous acceleration. We have constant acceleration. And then we have problems to solve. Hitting the brakes of a car. We have also another problem, smashing water melon from up the stairs. In experience three, we have circular and projectile motion. This is a very important topic, projectile motion. How is it represented? How do I model it? Adding, adding velocities in two dimension. How is it represented for projectile motion? You have different types of projectile motion. We'll discuss each one of them in details. Modeling projectile motion. What's delta X? What's delta Y? What's the difference between them? All of that. And then we have problems here to apply our rule that we have studied. Then we'll talk about circular motion. What is meant by circular motion? How do I graph circular motion? How do I apply the rule? And then storyline two, I mean, sorry, investigation to which is forces. Forces is a very dense topic in, in physics. So what are the types of forces? What is meant by force? What is it? What does it represent? push or pull, and then we'll take types of forces, weight, spring force, tension, surface force, all of these are contact forces and which one are non-contact forces. Then we have, as I've said, surface forces, a box on a table, which will lead us to uh, modeling forces in two dimension. How do I model it? On the Y axis and on the X axis. Then we will talk about centripetal force, how to represent it, what's the rule to find it, how is it found, the formulas, all of that. We will go through them in details. Then I have forces on a system, system within multiple objects. 
then how will I model systems? The formulas to do that. And then I have courses on extended systems. Then torque, which is twisting force, how to accomplish torque balance. Then we have earth surface forces. We will talk about how the forces affect uh, what is the effect of the forces on Earth? Time scales, weathering, ma mass wasting, stream systems, galaxial systems, all of these systems, we will discuss them in details. Then we will talk about humans uh, as a geological force. Earth and human activities. How do human activities affect Earth's surface? And this is going to be the end of our storyline one. You will have lots and lots of problem solving. So I advise you to study on daily basis. Okay, daily basis. Each time you take a period, you go and study. You have many resources to uh, help you or to assist you in your studies. Wish you all the best and goodbye.